of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination as I take you back in time. First aircraft on the takeoff roll, that silver airplane takes us back to 1936. And the Ford Tri-Motor in front of us now takes us back to 1926. Those were approximately the years that these airliners got into the air. We're back in time, the time, the middle 1920s to the middle 1930s. Liberty Parachute team coming in, they will be able to hear your applause. It is Jim Trudowski, the Tordo Man. Aviation was a wave of the future. Henry and Edsel built that airliner as a passenger transport airplane between 1926 and 1933. 199 of the tri-motors were built. Now, if you remember seeing the motion picture, The Spirit of St. Louis with Jimmy Stewart, you know that we're simulating a very harrowing flight by Lindbergh. May 20th and 21st, the year was 1927. He was flying alone from New York to Paris, hoping to garner that Ortiz prize, a significant amount of money for the first person to fly nonstop from New York to Paris or Paris to New York. Many had tried, many had died. Look to your left now as the DC-3 banks around. And again, we're back in the middle 1930s. This was the state of the art for airliners back in those days. This airplane is an airplane that changed the world. And why? First of all, it was the first airplane that could fly a load of passengers without a mail subsidy and make a profit. So significant was this airplane but that between 1936 and 1939, the DC-3s carried 90, 90% of the commercial air traffic in North America. Over 13,000 of these aircraft were built in both the passenger version, that's the DC-3, and for the military, that's